Brian Vickers, the NASCAR champion, and Katie Haas, the three-time Olympic medalist, both suffer from life and career-threatening DVT and PE blood clots. They have partnered with Janssen Pharmaceuticals and the National Blood Clot Alliance for 100 Days of Awareness in honor of the 100,000 Americans who die each year from DVT PE blood clots. Both Brian and Katie are lending their voices to raise awareness to the signs, symptoms, and treatment options to help others like them. They join us today via satellite from New York City. Welcome, Katie and Brian. Thank you. Brian, we're going to get started with you. You were recently a captain for the Race of Champions Racing Final. How was this experience different from being in the driver's seat? <laughs> Well, it was fun. Uh, I definitely enjoyed captaining the uh, the America's team at the Race of Champions, which is an event I really love. But there's nothing like being in the driver's seat, and uh, maybe I'll do that next year. So, can you tell us what are you hoping to accomplish with this campaign? Well, we're hoping to save lives. Uh, you know, I, I think it really comes down to raising awareness, saving lives. Unfortunately, as you as you mentioned, there's a hundred thousand people a year that die. Uh, to blood clot-related uh, issues, DVT, pulmonary embolism, and that's just way too many people. Uh, you know, Katie and I are very fortunate not to be on that list, but we came very close. Uh, you know, it was, uh, you know, for me, it was a DVT and a pulmonary embolism the first time, and then a DVT another time. The biggest mistake I made was uh, not listening to the signs and symptoms and not going to the doctor soon enough, and, and it almost cost me dearly. Uh, but that's not a mistake I made twice. The second time I went right away as soon as I felt something. And, um, you know, I think for me, being able to tell my story in depth and, and what I learned, the mistakes I made, the right decisions I made, uh, the signs and symptoms, the treatments, uh, et cetera, is, is kind of the best way I've found to kind of give back and raise awareness. And that's something we've been very fortunate to be able to partner with Janssen, um, you know, to tell our stories. And, and you can see them at treatmyclot.com. Uh, and I'm also very proud to say that every time someone watches our story at treatmyclot.com, uh, they Jansen's going to donate to the National Blood Clot Alliance to help raise awareness and uh, for the next hundred days and to save uh, some of those hundred thousand lives. Brian, could we wrap this up by asking one more question? Why is raising awareness around blood clots is so important to you? Um, you know, raising awareness, uh, you know, around the blood clot issue is important on a lot of levels. One, uh, and most importantly, because it hits home personally. Uh, you know, it's it's something that that nearly cost my life. It affected myself, and my family dearly. It, it, it robbed me at times in my life and my career, my passion. Um, but most importantly, uh, there's just way too many people that are affected by this. Uh, this way, you know, under discussed. It's it's under diagnosed sometimes. Uh, you know, so many people don't even think about it. You know, when they have something going wrong. Um, you know, and, and 100,000 people as a result die every year, and it's just way too many people. So, uh, you know, as I've learned more about this, um, not only has it been a personal cause because of what I've experienced, but it's just a common sense cause. I mean, there's just 100,000 people. It's, it's just unbelievable. It's, it's uh, you know, it's more than HIV, breast cancer, and, and car accidents in America alone, uh, you know, get killed a year. So, um, you know, it's, it's become a passion on many levels and, and an honor to, to do a small part. Thank you, Brian. Katie Hoff, she's a three-time Olympic medalist. So Katie, tell us, what was it like to be able to represent your country at a very young age, 15? Oh my gosh, yeah, it was definitely surreal. Um, you know, looking back uh, now, I was such a baby, such a little kid. Didn't know what I was getting myself into. I'd never even been out of the country. Um, so to be able to compete for Team USA was an extreme honor. Um, it really just lit the fire under me and, um, you know, kick-started my career on the international stage, and um, yeah, it, it was truly incredible. So tell me, how did you feel when you were diagnosed with such a serious condition? Oh my gosh, um, I definitely don't think I grasped it at first. Um, when they said, you know, you have a pulmonary embolism, you know, like Brian said, like I, we didn't even know what that meant. That, that was something that we had not heard. It was not super common in our world, and um, you know, I think at first I felt a little bit of relief because I finally understood what was going on with me. Um, relief that I was alive. Like, I mean, 100,000 people is just staggering to me in one year. Um, and then, you know, I think it, it really started setting in um, about, you know, just the seriousness of the situation and how I really did not understand or recognize the signs and symptoms at all. I mean, it was misdiagnosis after misdiagnosis, and, and a part of that is myself. You know, I didn't really push doctors to think outside the box and, and you know, think about every, every type of, um, you know, diagnosis, so. 
Katie, can you tell us where can people find more information about this campaign? People can find more information at treatmyclot.com. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Thank you.